doing that. Uh, I mean, I think it'll be all right, but I feel like in order to get the better payoff further down the line, you're going to get something a little bit more watered down at WrestleMania. Okay. I feel like the presence of Mickey James will be a factor mm-hmm. in that match. Yeah. And like you said, I feel like we'll get a lot of the running out of the ring and trying mm-hmm. to avoid the situation. But just, you know, to top all that off, you know, I might throw out another quite bold prediction here. There he goes. Carmella will yeah. go into this somewhere along the lines as well. There's no rules stating she must challenge for a SmackDown women's title. And, you know, if you're going to play the odds on what's the smartest move, you, you try and take the title off Alexa if you've ever mm-hmm. a better chance. Yeah. Um, and so what, what are you predicting here, Matt? If you're going to go full hog on this, are we going with Alexa Bliss retaining and then Carmella... Carmella um, Coming down, cashing in. Does she win? I mean, is there a chance she could lose cashing it in? We've seen that before. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of feel like, you know, Alexa wins, you know, by whatever means necessary, you know, whether that makes Nia happy. I'm sure it won't. And then that probably won't end too well for Alexa, I imagine. Mm. And that would be the perfect time to cash in. Yeah, but that, that would be fascinating. I mean, there's lots of different ways you could play this out. You could really make somebody off that as well. I mean, imagine Nia wins the belt. And then manages to still beat Carmella when she comes down. <laughs> like, you just make her the ultimate then, don't you? But um, you could do the same with Alexa as well and do it in a hill way. And people would even be more upset. But, yeah, I I mean, we've always... I remember one year you thought, there's no way Dolph isn't cashing in on WrestleMania. But he didn't. He'd done it the night after. So it's not as guaranteed that it's going to happen at WrestleMania. I know it's like, we've seen Seth Rollins do it. That was the first time. Um, I guess in the women's, they need something. Carmella's not really been involved in too much. It would be a, a good step up for her. But I don't know. I, I, don't, I think she's it's difficult. Um, I'm going to go that she's not going to cash it in. I'm, I'm going to be disappointing. I'm going to play it down here. But I'm, I'm going to say she isn't. I'll be surprised if she does. And I'll, be, I'll pop for it as much as anyone else. Believe me. But I, I just think that they're going to hold off on it. Um, a little bit longer maybe not too longer by the way but I think they're going to hold off it and I do think when she does cash it in it won't be on Smackdown it will be on Raw um, I think she'll just turn up there so um, that's my prediction so slightly different on the the sort of outcome of outcomes if you will uh, on that one um, okay Matt let's go now to another big blockbuster match now it's become that because of course the latest news and the news that came out um, of course, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, who have been um, a great little combination, um, great chemistry between obviously two mates that grew up in the business. But you know, I know to a lot of people when they first got together and the Hell in a Cell thing when he was fighting Shane, they were like, "Why is he there? What are they doing?" But I was one of those people. But I feel like since then, Matt, these two have had really good chemistry with one another, and they're quite. They're heels, but they're quite cool heels, if you want to say the word. And they're quite funny, and they they do things that are not, you know, they're not your generic heels, are they? They're a little bit more out there. They're, they're more of what you, I guess you could argue and say, they're the indie type of heels. You know? I mean, am I too sympathetic of them? Uh, do I like them just because everything they say about Shane McMahon I agree with? <laughs> Well, maybe, but uh, maybe they got some valid points, as uh, Jesse Ventura used to as the heel commentator. So, uh, but again, they are going up against. Yep, that man, Shane O'Mac. Nothing's going to keep him back from this. He um, again, he got diagnosed with um, diverticulitis, which Brock Lesnar had, by the way. Now it's not as serious as that, but he's still got to have an operation. Um, now, you know, here's the funny thing here, Matt. If this was any other wrestler. There's no way they'd get this match. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Not having that. But of course, Shane O'Mac, he's going to get the match. He's going to go out there. Uh, maybe he won't do as much, but he's going to be out there. But um, again, he's, 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 he's teaming with a guy who's coming back, Matt. Um, how, like, I feel like WWE have kind of like been a bit careful about how they play this, how they've played this out to the, the, the fans, like with Daniel Bryan. I feel like they've, They've not wanted to overdo it in promotion, just in case. You know, they don't want to put too much pressure on him. But at the same time, Matt, I think that it's quite clear that Daniel Bryan being added to this card has really changed the dynamic, almost, the the foundation of what was once there in this card by having him on um, and having this as his return match after, you know, three years. And 
I really think this is one of those cases where it is a little bit downplayed, and I actually think the end result of this is going to be quite something because I, I, you know, the atmosphere alone for this is going to be amazing. But then you think of all his moves that we've missed, all those little things he does, even when he does the back, the, the flip that he's been doing. You see a video of him training to do that, the kicks. The yeah, I mean the yes is just one part of it, but but what people really love about Daniel Bryan, it's not just the yes. They, they say that because it's called, cool but but more than that, Matt, they love this guy's wrestling. I mean, it's not just the gimmick where yes is over. This guy is arguably one of the best performers, maybe of you know in, in modern time, um, and he you can really the the great thing is a great storyteller. He's he reminds me, and I know this is this is putting him up at a huge pedestal here because I'm a massive fan of him, and we've been doing the the retrospective series. But to me, Matt, it's in more recent years, there's no one I've ever really gravitated towards in feeling sympathy, in great storytelling in the ring than I have Daniel Bryan. Like I got sucked in by it, I really did, and I I kind of felt for this guy. I felt like he's the hardest working guy there. Why is he not getting pushed? And similar struggles to what Brett had for a long time, where he had to go back and redo it all again. And I feel like Daniel Bryan is another one of those guys. But bell to bell, Matt, I mean, this guy, for the size of him, for everything he's he's got going against him in the the world of the giants of WWE, how good is it to have Daniel Bryan, A, back at this card, but also back in general, Matt? We hope to see him a little bit more as well. Oh, it's massive, isn't it? I mean, it's great news for WWE in general because he is one of the biggest stars that they've been able to uh, to hold, uh, grab, uh, keep a hold of for for a long time now. And uh, the fact that he was still such a big star, even in a non wrestling role, just goes to show you know that fan base is solid and, and is like very solidly behind him. And, you know, they they're not going anywhere anytime soon. So it's good that they can. Uh, they can make the most of him again by getting those matches out of him. Even mm-hmm. like you said before a few weeks ago, you know, even if it's just a match here and there, you know, four or so a year, mm-hmm. that's better than nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know, fans will go nuts for those few matches that they can get. I mean, hopefully the, everything's all right with him and he can wrestle more frequently than that. Uh, but yeah, it's great to have him back. But uh, this match of WrestleMania that he's going to get, uh, for me, it's kind of the dark horse of WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. I kind of feel like I'm going to enjoy this match a lot more than I probably should. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I know Shane McMahon's in there, and you know we speak negatively of Shane McMahon, but I feel like the, the, just the, the presence of the other three and their mm-hmm. history and the way that they know each other so well are definitely going to be able to pull out something uh, pretty fantastic. Mm-hmm. And for me, also, like the uh, story implications behind this match are the most interesting. You know, like Will Sami Zayn. And Kevin Owens be fired from SmackDown? Mm-hmm. Does that mean they'll go to Raw, or will they stay? Or will Shane inadvertently hit Daniel Bryan? Will there be heat between them two? There's mm-hmm. so many mm-hmm. avenues they can go in this match. Mm-hmm. You know, I just can't keep track of it all. Yeah, there is a lot going on, and it's yeah, it's like you say, it is difficult because you've got so much surrounding Daniel Bryan coming back in action, and then you got all this to add to it. Um, obviously, it's a tag team match. That that's what it is. You've got Shane in there. You know it's going to be a. You know it's going to get well received from WWE in the back because Shane's in it, so it's going to get the time it needs. That's for sure. Um, but you know, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. Do you feel like there's a bit to prove on their part as well, Matt? That this is something that they want to you know make work. I mean, you spoke about it to me as well recently. You know, when you look back at that Kevin Owens performance against Jericho and Vince's reaction to it, no. <laughs> You know, Jesus Christ! You know, you're like, wow, okay. And then you see poor old Kevin just standing. I mean, like, I'm, I'm sure he's got something to prove um, in in this one again. He is against his son, so what's he gonna do? You know, I hated it. But no, I loved it, Shane. Shane was great. You're awful. <laughs> and Shane made yeah. it happen. Kevin Owens is definitely a guy who takes his in ring work very seriously, mm-hmm. and it him hard, you know. He, he wants to go out there and prove that he can actually be top of the business. Mm. And, you know, you've got to believe it's a similar position for Sami Zayn. This is his first real opportunity to prove that he can be on that top tier and mm-hmm. work, like, on a great WrestleMania with, the, with pretty much, like, some of the best. You know, you talk about Daniel Bryan, he's getting a match with him. 
uh, for his return. That's a big deal. So I'm sure. You know, and 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 uh, just how much Daniel Bryan means to him on a personal level and their history. You know, mm-hmm. they definitely got to go out there and try and really pull out something special. Yeah, I'm expecting it to be uh, like you know a good match. Everyone's going to be into this. You know, I will say one thing about this WrestleMania, um, and it's odd because the build up to this, I I feel is not been great. I mean, it's been one of the worst I've seen. To, if I'm totally honest with you, I just haven't enjoyed it. Um, and I mean it as as a whole, not just like select few. But on paper, the one thing they've done very well here, Matt, and the matches we've already spoken about, a lot of them, not all of them, but the majority of them, unlike past years, they all seem like there's something for fans when they're there to get invested in. Like there's a reason you want to see something like Maybe not the tag team matches, but any of the others. I kind of feel like, especially with this, like the, the bigger matches of the night, there's some real repercussions to who wins and loses here. And there's like, I think fans will get really into it. I mean, there's so much reaction you're going to get off this match um, between all the different uh, competitors in it. Um, as far as a winner goes here, Matt, who you pulling? Who you going for? Who's your heads telling you? This is incredibly difficult. Like I said before, there's so much going on in this yeah. match. I mean, when you throw in the fact that you know Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn could be fired from SmackDown, I mean, mm-hmm. does that mean they go to Raw? I I just don't know. Um, uh, so difficult. I kind of feel Daniel Bryan has to win his his return match. I feel that has to be the way it goes down. But what that means for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn afterwards, you know, I I can only uh, wait and see. Yeah, um, man, like you, I've flipped between two different scenarios, um, but I'm going to go with what I wrote down yesterday. I'm going to go with that again. Um, I'm going with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to win this one. Um, I just feel they're going to get it, maybe do something with them after um, together. Um, but, you know, I, I'm guessing that, the, you know, so, I don't know how it will work out, but I, I just got a feeling they're going to win. The match, but I, what I do think is that Daniel Bryan will have the last laugh. There'll be something where they can get them back in the ring, and he'll he'll be doing the yes at the end of it. Let's put it that way. But I've just got a feeling I'm going with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in this um, for me. But then again, Matt could be right because then I could play it in my head the same, the reverse way round, where you know Shane and Daniel Bryan win, but then Kevin Owens and Sami uh, yeah, obliterate Shane, so you won't. Because you know, he's got to go off TV anyway, and there's there's a way of getting them over without winning the match still. So um, we will see. But uh, for now, I'm, I'm I'm going out. I'm going to say Sammy and Kevin, uh, Matt. You're going with uh, a, a Daniel Bryan and uh, We're very Shane. Lit, I can't believe this. We barely. Yeah, even normally we are very similar on our way of thinking. But again, I think this is this is a great sign for a, a good card when it's like this a bit. I do feel like that. I feel like it's been very rare, Matt, where Anything we've ever gone into has been this separate. I think it's probably one of our first ones. So, um, Okay, let's move on now then to the SmackDown Women's Championship match. Uh, Charlotte Flair versus Oscar. And um, again, this is a dream match. I feel like this is as much of a dream match as the AJ Styles Nakamura match in many ways. Um, it, it has got that feel about it. And I think if, if Ronda hadn't have been signed, I think we would have been... Even more talking about this match. I, the only thing I'm a little bit disappointed on, again, it's the build into this match. I, I just feel like they, yeah, they haven't done a, a tremendous job, in my opinion. Let's, you know, I wish they'd do a little bit more for Oscar in terms of let's find out about, a bit more about her. Let's, let's also do some more serious stuff and get Charlotte involved in all that. Like um, Again, it's been built as the Queen against the Empress, isn't it? And all this larky stuff. But... Um, this is a big match. I mean, honestly, I think this is one of the the best women's matches in terms of credibility that I've gone into for a long, long time. And I do mean a long time. Uh, since the days of Lita and Trish. I mean, never have that over with people. Um, I, I really feel like that. I feel this has got a an athletic type of side to it, which is good for the women, especially. And, um, you know, Charlotte Flair, in my opinion, uh, pound for pound, was or is, in many cases, still the best for me um, in the women's division. Um, and I know Oscar is an incredible talent. Don't get me wrong. I don't want people to think I'm knocking her in any way. But as far as the all-round package, you know, I just think Charlotte is, is really off the chain. 
Um, but I do also feel like she's been left out to dry.